Okay, here we're going to look at the word spirit. Um, we got some fun we can play with this, specifically I R I T. When you got I vowel, I consonant, I consonant, and can this pattern can then repeat. We got a specific um, style we can use. So we'll we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's put together the simplest possible combination. So, S, P, I, R, I, T. This is the simplest possible combination for the word spirit. I didn't draw it very straight. We can straighten it up a bit. Spirit. Okay, now, there's a lot of double letter combinations we can get to here. The most important, probably, right off the bat, is the SP. Now, as you can see, this is the S and this is the P. We can go S, P. Now, some people might ask, how do you know this isn't a U? Well, normally we can distinguish that a P isn't a U by the fact that it's attached to the word line like so, but in this case, some people might argue it's a little difficult to see. Well, first of all, I tend to draw the line down. That makes it clear. And second of all, SU would be this. The S connects to the U on the side, not like this. This is a P. Now, if you want to make this an SU, you, then, you would then connect your following letters out of there or there. Um, you'd have to make clear that you're not dragging it down out of this line, that this is not a word line continuing down. So just be a little careful with that. You'll a little practice and you'll quickly pick it up. So let's try that and put that into our word. S P I R I T. Now we've got a couple other commas we can look at here. I R and I T. The I also has another connection point here. We can connect letters directly off of there. So that's I R. That's I T. And one other thing, as we've discussed before, that I T specifically because there's the word it and because of the, com the frequency of the combinations TS and ST, this is S, there's a second version of the letter T, which is this. Why? Because then you can go ST, or TS. So, using that version, we can make it look even a little better by creating a loop like that. Kind of a little smoother anyways. So let's put all that together. Let's put those two I cups into each other. Now, when we got an I, we can draw a second I by kind of catching that cup like that. So the word comes into there and then continues out of there. And when we use our double combos, we just put the, the other character on the side. So spirit can be not bad. Looking kind of nice. I really like the way this one's starting to look. Another thing we can do is I's can be in, can connect into the letter above them. For example, this is the P, and I can be like this. Now, the reason we know this isn't an O is because it's not an enclosed space. We can clearly see that there's, like, a piece of a pie missing. So we still know this is an I and not an O or any other letter. Just don't ever let this touch all the way to the bottom, because as soon as it does, it might look like it's an E. So just be careful with that. But you can close that space off. And we can do it twice, actually. So we can go S, P, I. Now we could draw the R off the side, like so. And then we can go I... Again, we can touch it to the letter above it, and then we can draw our T maybe like so. Or the other the other version of the T works as well. Not bad. Again, kind of starting to see maybe how we can make this logo graphic to represent the word spirit. Quite a few other possibilities to work with here, but this is actually kind of one of my favorites here, I'd say.